the choice component lets users choose one value from a predefined list of items. After a choice is made, that value gets recorded to another column in our table. In the data editor, set up two columns for the choice content, a list of choices and a column to store the selections users make. In the layout editor, add a choice component to the app. First, select which column to write to. This is where Glide will store each user's choice selection. Then select which columns to use for the choice content. This is where the department names will go. The choice component can present as a drop-down list, chips, or radio buttons. The component can also have a title, like department. The choice can also be required. Making a choice component required has a couple of implications. First, it means that after users have selected a choice, they can't then choose none as a choice. Second, and perhaps more powerfully, when we make a choice component required in an ad edit or form screen, the user won't be able to click submit without making a choice. Now, when a user comes to the choice component, they'll see a list of the choices and be able to select one. When a choice is made in the app, it updates the table in the column that we specified to write to. To learn more, visit glideapps.com learn.